The three round table conferences of 1930–32 were a series of conferences organised by the British government and Indian National Congress was participant to discuss constitutional reforms in India. These started in November 1930 and ended in December 1932. They were conducted as per the recommendation of Jinnah to Viceroy Lord Irwin and Prime Minister Ramsay MacDonald, and by the report submitted by the Simon Commission in May 1930. Demands for Swaraj, or self-rule, in India had been growing increasingly strong. Mahatma Gandhi, Sir Tej Bahadur Sapru, Srinivasa, Sir Muhammad Zafrullah Khan and Mirabhan are key participants from India. By the 1930s, many British politicians believed that India needed to move towards dominion status. However, there were significant disagreements between the Indian and the British political parties that the conferences would not resolve. The key topic was about constitution and India which was mainly discussed in that conference. First Round Table Conference November 1930 to January 1931. The Round Table Conference officially inaugurated by His Majesty George V on November 12, 1930 in Royal Gallery House of Lords at London and chaired by the British Prime Minister, Ramsay MacDonald. The three British political parties were represented by 16 delegates. There were 58 political leaders from British India and 16 delegates from the princely states. In total 74 delegates from India attended the conference. However, the Indian National Congress, along with Indian business leaders, kept away from the conference. Many of them were in jail for their participation in civil disobedience movement. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Participants. British representatives: Labour: Ramsay MacDonald, Lord Sankey, Wedgwood Ben, Arthur Henderson, J. H. Thomas, William Jowett, Hastings Lee Smith, Earl Russell. Conservative: Earl Peel, Marquess of Zetland, Samuel Hoare, Oliver Stanley. Liberal: Marquess of Reading, Marquess of Lothian, Sir Robert Hamilton, Isaac Foot. Muslim League: Aga Khan III, leader of British Indian delegation, Maulana Muhammad Ali Jauhar, Muhammad Shafi, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Muhammad Zafarullah Khan, A. K. Fazlul Huq, Hafiz Ghulam Hussain Hidayatullah, Dr. Shafa Ahmad Khan, Raja Sher Muhammad Khan of Dameli, Nilai A. H. Guznavi. Indian States Representatives, Maharaja of Alwar, Maharaja of Baroda, Nawab of Bhopal, Maharaja of Bikaner, Rana of Dolpur, Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir, Maharaja of Nawanagar, Maharaja of Patiala Chancellor of the Chamber of Princes, Maharaja of Rua, Chief Sahib of Sangli, Sir Prabhashankar Patani Bhavnagar, Manubai Mehta Baroda, Sardar Sahibzada Sultan Ahmed Khan Gwalior, Akbar Haidari Hyderabad, Mirza Ismail Mysore, Kal. Kailas Narain Haxar, Jammu and Kashmir British Indian representatives Hindus, B. S. Moonjay, M. R. Jayakar, Dewan Bahadur Raja Narendra Nath Liberals, J. N. Basu, Tej Bahadur Sapru, C. Y. Chintamani, V. S. Srinivasa Sastri, Chamanlal Haralal Setalvad Justice Party, Arkat Ramasamy Mudalir, Bhaskarao Vithajirao Jadav, Sir A. P. Patro Depressed classes, B. R. Ambedkar, Redamalai Srinivasan Sikhs, Sardar Ujjal Singh, Sardar Sampuran Singh Parsis, Firoz Sethna, Kowashi Jehangar, Homi Modi Indian Christians, K. T. Paul Europeans, Sir Hubert Carr, Sir Oscar de Glanville Burma, T. F. Gavin Jones, C. E. Wood Madras. Anglo Indians, Henry Gidney Women, Begum Jahanara Shanawas, Radhabai Subarayan Landlords, Maharaja Kameshwar Singh of Darbanga Bihar, Muhammad Ahmad Said Khan Chatari United Provinces, Raja of Parlekmundi Orissa, Pravash Chandra Mitter Labour, N. M. Joshi, B. Shiva Rao Universities, Syed Sultan Ahmed, Bishishwar Dayal Seth Burma, Yuong Thin, Ba Yu, M. M. O. H. N. Geen Sindh, Shah Nawaz Bhutto, Ghulam Hussain Hidayatullah Other provinces, Chandradar Barua Assam, Sahibzada Abdul Qayyum NWFP, SB Tamba Central provinces Government of India, Narendra Nath Law, Bhupendra Nath Mitra, C. P. Ramaswamy Iyer, M. Ramachandra Rao 
Officials attending in consultative capacity, W. M. Haley, C. A. Innes, A. C. McQuaters, H. G. Haig, L. W. Reynolds Indian States Delegation Staff Hyderabad, Sir Richard Chenevix Trench, Nawab Mahdi Yar Young, Ahmed Hussain, Nawab Sir Amin Young Bahadur, Sir Reginald Glancy South Indian States, T. Raghavaya Baroda, V. T. Krishnamachari Alwar, Fateh Naseeb Khan Orissa States, K. C. Nia G. Nominated by the Chamber of Princes Special Organization, L. F. Rushbrook Williams, Kazi Ali Haydar Abbasi, Jarmani Das, A. B. Latha, D. A. Serv Secretariats, S. K. Brown, V. Dawson, K. S. Fitz, W. H. Lewis, R. J. Stopford, J. Coatman, Marmaduke Pickthal, K. M. Panikar, N. S. Suba Rao, Jeffrey Corbett, A. Latifi, Garija Shankar Bajpai Secretariat General, R. H. A. Carter, Mian Abdul Aziz, W. D. Croft, G. E. J. Gent, B. G. Holdsworth, R. F. Muddy, G. S. Rajadya Topic. Proceedings The conference started with six plenary meetings where delegates put forward their issues nine subcommittees were formed to deal with several different matters including federal structure, provincial constitution, province of Sindh and NWFP, defense services and minorities e.t.c. These were followed by discussions on the reports of the subcommittees on federal structure, provincial constitution, minorities, Burma, Northwest Frontier Province, franchise, defense services and Sindh. These were followed by two more plenary meetings and a final concluding session. It was difficult for progress to be made in the absence of the Indian National Congress but some advances were made. The idea of an All India Federation was moved to the centre of discussion by Tej Bahadur Sapru. All the groups attending the conference supported this concept. The princely states agreed to the proposed federation provided that their internal sovereignty was guaranteed. The Muslim League also supported the federation as it had always been opposed to a strong centre. The British agreed that representative government should be introduced on provincial level. Other important discussions were the responsibility of the executive to the legislature and a separate electorate for the untouchables as demanded by Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. Topic: Second Round Table Conference, September to December 1931. The Congress had boycotted the first conference. Was requested to come to a settlement by Sapru, M. R. Jayakar, and V. S. Srinivasa Sastri. A settlement between Mahatma Gandhi and Viceroy Lord Irwin known as the Gandhi-Irwin Pact was reached and Gandhi was appointed as the sole representative of the Congress to the Second Round Table Conference. Although MacDonald was still Prime Minister of Britain, he was by this time heading a coalition government the National Government with a conservative majority. It was held in London in September 1931. The discussion led to the passing of the Government of India Act of 1935. Topic. Participants British representatives Labour, Ramsay MacDonald, Wedgwood Ben, Arthur Henderson, William Jowett, Hastings Lee Smith, F. W. Hick Lawrence, Lord Sankey, Lord Snell, J. H. Thomas Conservative, Viscount Hailsham, Samuel Hoare, Earl Peel, Oliver Stanley, Marquess of Zetland Scottish Unionist, Walter Elliott Liberal, Isaac Foote, Henry Graham White, Robert Hamilton, Marquess of Lothian, Marquess of Reading Indian States Representatives, Maharaja of Alwar, Maharaja of Baroda, Nawab of Bhopal, Maharaja of Bikaner, Maharao of Kutch, Rana of Dolpur, Maharaja of Indore, Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir, Maharaja of Kapurtala, Maharaja of Nawanagar, Maharaja of Patiala, Maharaja of Rua, Chief Sahib of Sangli, Raja of Korea, Raja of Sarilla, Sir Prabhashankar Patani, Bhavnagar, Manubai Mehta, Baroda, Sardar Sahib Zada Sultan Ahmed Khan. Gwalior, Sir Muhammad Akbar Haidari, Hyderabad, Mirza Ismail, Mysore, Call. K. N. Haksar, Jammu and Kashmir, T. Raghavaya, Travancore, Liaquat Hayat Khan, Patiala. Muslim representatives, Allama Iqbal joined in with other Muslim leaders. British Indian representatives. Government of India, C. P. Ramaswamy Iyer, Narendra Nath Law, M. Ramachandra Rao. 
Indian National Congress, Mahatma Gandhi he was the sole representative of the Congress. Muslims, Aga Khan III, Maulana Shaqat Ali, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, A. K. Fazlul Huq, Muhammad Iqbal, Muhammad Shafi, Muhammad Zafarullah Khan, Syed Ali Imam, Malvi Muhammad Shafi Daudi, Raja Sher Muhammad Khan of Dameli, A. H. Ghaznavi, Hafiz Hidayat Hussain, Syed Muhammad Padshah Saheb Bahadur, Dr. Shafa Ahmad Khan, Jamal Muhammad, Kaja Mian Rother, Nawab Sahibzada Syed Muhammad Mare Shah, Hindus, M. R. Jayakar, B. S. Moonjay, Dewan Bahadur Raja Narendra Nath Liberals, J. N. Basu, C. Y. Chintamani, Tej Bahadur Sapru, V. S. Srinivasa Sastri, Chamanlal Haralal Setalvad Justice Party, Raja of Babali, Arkat Ramasami Mudalir, Sir A. P. Patro, Bhaskarao Vithajirao Jadav Depressed Classes, B. R. Ambedkar, Redamalai Srinivasan Sikhs, Sardar Ujjal Singh, Sardar Sampuran Singh Parsis, Kowashi Jehangar, Homi Modi, Firoz Sethna Indian Christians, Surendra Kumar Datta, A. T. Panderselvam Europeans, E. C. Benthal, Sir Hubert Carr, T. F. Gavin Jones, C. E. Wood Madras. Anglo-Indians, Henry Gidney Women, Sarojini Naidu, Begum Jahanara Shanawas, Radhabai Subarayan Landlords, Muhammad Ahmad Said Khan Chatari United Provinces, Kameshwar Singh of Darbanga Bihar, Raja of Parlakamedi Orissa, Sir Pravash Chandra Mitter Industry, Ganshiam Das Birla, Sir Purshatamdas Thakurdas, Manekji Dadaboy Labor, N. M. Joshi, B. Shiva Rao, V. V. Jiri Universities, Syed Sultan Ahmed, Bishishwar Dayal Seth Burma, Sir Padamji Jinwala Sindh, Shah Nawaz Bhutto, Ghulam Hussain Hidayatullah Other provinces, Chandradar Barua Assam, Sahibzada Abdul Qayyum NWFP, SB Tamba Central provinces Indian States Delegation Staff, VT Krishnamachari Baroda, Richard Chenevik's Trench Hyderabad, Nawab Mahdi Yar Young Hyderabad, SM Bapna Indore, Amar Nath Adil Jaipur, JW Young Jodhpur, Ram Chandra Kak, Jammu and Kashmir, Sahibzada Abdus Samad Khan Rampur, KC Niaji Orissa States, LF Rushbrook Williams, Jarmani Das, Muhammad Salah Akbar Haidari, KM Panikar, N. Madhava Rao British Delegation Staff, H. G. Haig, V. Dawson, K. S. Fitz, J. G. Lathwaite, W. H. Lewis, P. J. Patrick, J. Coatman, G. T. Garrett, R. J. Stopford British Indian Delegation Staff, Geoffrey Corbett, A. Latifi, Garija Shankar Bajpai, Benegal Rama Rao, Syed Amjad Ali, Prince Ali Khan, A. M. Chaudhary, Mahadev Desai, Gavind Malvia, K. T. Shah, P. Sinha Secretariat General, R. H. A. Carter, K. Anderson, C. D. Deshmukh, J. M. Sladen, Hugh McGregor, G. F. Stewart, A. H. Joyce, Syed Amjad Ali, Ram Babu Saxena Proceedings The second session opened on September 7, 1931. There were three major differences between the first and second round table conferences. By the second, Congress representation the Gandhi Irwin Pact opened the way for Congress participation in this conference. Mahatma Gandhi was invited from India and attended as the sole official Congress representative, accompanied by Sarojini Naidu and also Maidan Mohan Malviya, Ganshiam Das Birla, Muhammad Iqbal, Sir Mirza Ismail, Dewan of Mysore, S.K. Dutta and Sir Syed Ali Imam. Gandhi claimed that the Congress alone represented political India, that the untouchables were Hindus and should not be treated as a minority, and that there should be no separate electorates or special safeguards for Muslims or other minorities. These claims were rejected by the other Indian participants. According to this pact, Gandhi was asked to call off the Civil Disobedience Movement CDM, and if he did so the prisoners of the British government would be freed except the criminal prisoners, i.e. those who had killed British officials. He returned to India, disappointed with the results and empty-handed. National government — two weeks earlier the Labour government in London had fallen. Ramsay MacDonald now headed a national government dominated by the Conservative Party. 
financial crisis. During the conference, Britain went off the gold standard, further distracting the national government. During the conference, Gandhi could not reach agreement with the Muslims on Muslim representation and safeguards. At the end of the conference, Ramsay MacDonald undertook to produce a communal award for minority representation, with the provision that any free agreement between the parties could be substituted for his award. Gandhi took particular exception to the treatment of untouchables as a minority separate from the rest of the Hindu community. He clashed with the leader of depressed classes, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, over this issue. The two eventually resolved the situation with the Pune Pact of 1932. <laughs> Third Round Table Conference, November to December 1932. The third and last session assembled on November 17, 1932. Only 46 delegates attended since most of the main political figures of India were not present. The Labour Party from Britain and the Indian National Congress refused to attend. From September 1931 until March 1933, under the supervision of the Secretary of State for India, Sir Samuel Hoare, the proposed reforms took the form reflected in the Government of India Act 1935. Topic. Participants Indian States Representatives, Akbar Haidari Dewan of Hyderabad, Mirza Ismail Dewan of Mysore, VT Krishnamachari Dewan of Baroda, Wahahat Hussain Jammu and Kashmir, Sir Sukhdeo Prasad Udaipur, Jaipur, Jodhpur, J. A. Serv Kolhapur, Raja Oudh Narain Basaria Bhopal, Manubai Mehta Bikaner, Nawab Liaquat Hayat Khan Patiala, Fateh Naseeb Khan Alwar State, L. F. Rushbrook Williams Nawanagar, Raja of Sarilla Small States British Indian representatives, Aga Khan III, B. R. Ambedkar depressed classes, Ramakrishna Ranga Rao of Babali, Sir Hubert Carr Europeans, Nanak Chand Pandit, A. H. Guznavi, Henry Gidney Anglo-Indians, Hafiz Hidayat Hussain, Muhammad Iqbal, M. R. Jayakar, Kowashi Jahangir, N. M. Joshi Labour, Narasimha Chintaman Kelkar, Arkat Ramasami Mudalir, Begum Jahanara Shanawas women, A. P. Patro, Tej Bahadur Sapru, Drive. Shafa Ahmad Khan, Sir Shadi Lal, Tara Singh Malhotra, Sir N. R. I. Pendra Nath Sirkar, Sir Purshatamdas Thakurdas, Muhammad Zafarullah Khan. 